Today we'll be working through a series of steps common to many projects in ancient studies. So given a text, some number of objects, or some research data, there's usually a geographic aspect, and often there's a desire to analyze or visualize that geography programmatically. So the question arises, how do we get structured data for these geographic tasks? How do we move from a text or a list of places related to some objects or survey information and map it or do geographic analysis? We'll be taking as an example a really interesting set of objects called the Vicarello Cups. The name is a modern one. We don't know what these things were called in antiquity. Uh, the, this modern name takes the Italian place name associated with the site of discovery, which is uh, just north of the ancient Sabatinus Lacus in Italy. So you're uh, to the north and west of Rome. In antiquity, this site uh, on the north was called Aquae Apollinares Novae. It was a health spa and bathing establishment sacred to the god Apollo, fed by natural hot springs. These springs remained popular even after the fall of the Roman Empire, and in the mid-19th century, a series of renovations and repairs were conducted, and during that work, a large series of votive deposits were found in the spring themselves. This uh, series of deposits in included coins and other objects, many of them made of precious metals. Among these are the objects shown here. They're silver cups, four of them, inscribed with itineraries, and they're now in the Museo Nazionale in Rome. Itineraries are textual descriptions of journeys, usually land journeys, uh, indicating major waypoints and the distances between them. Now, in the case of all four of these cups from uh, Aquae Apollinaris Novae, the itinerary in question is a land itinerary, and it's from Cadiz, modern Cadiz in Spain, so on the southwest coast of Spain, all the way to Rome. We're going to try to take the text that appears on one of these cups and move it into a structured data environment so that we can map it and could potentially perform some kind of analysis on it, say looking at the distance figures or something else. Along the way, we'll introduce a number of tools and make reference to some other information that I've uh, provided here. We'll get our text from the Electronic Archive of Greek and Latin Epigraphy and specifically from the Epigraphic Database Roma, which provides information about Roman inscriptions from ancient Italy. We'll make use of two software tools, one called OpenRefine and the other called GeoCollider. These two tools will allow us to take the data we've created and to collate or align it with the Pleiades Gazetteer, which is an online resource for information about ancient places and place names. That process has been described in a blog post that I recently wrote on my blog, Horothesia, and I've provided a reference to that here for future use.